Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. So for dinner tonight, we are having Hoppin' John, and I did record a video on how I make it. It's really easy, just collard greens, black-eyed peas, and rice. And with it, I am having cornbread. This was in my pantry and I needed to use it. I bought this a while back ago. I didn't even know Pillsbury made corn muffin mix, but um, it is pretty good. It is sweet like Jiffy, probably not as sweet as Jiffy, but it's more um, cake-like than cornbread. Um, but anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Little Caesars Pizza. We have not had it in a while. This is their ultimate supreme pizza. Tons of topping, quick and easy dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer and pantry. So I made this beef uh, mandu dumplings that I picked up from Aldi during Asian week. Uh, a while back ago, of course, that was Harrison, and I just pan fried them, and here they are. I think that uh, Bibigo actually makes these. I mean, I'm not certain, but they do taste like the Bibigo brand that I buy from Costco. And we are also having some fried rice with it. I have showed this fried rice, or shown this fried rice on our channel a lot. I really like it a lot. I just follow the package directions. I didn't have any green onions to add this time, so I didn't. I had white onions, bacon, and I skipped the egg this time. So quick and easy dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey, so I am trying out a new recipe today. It is creamy spinach tortellini. So far, I have cooked this package of cheese tortellini. It's a 20 ounce um, size that I picked up from Aldi. So I cooked it and drained it and it's setting to the side. And I have, um, it called, the recipe calls for eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm using whipped cream cheese because that's what I have on hand. So I've got it in my skillet here and it says to combine the cream cheese with a cup and a half of chicken broth. I am using bouillon, so I'm just adding some plain water. And then I'm gonna add in my bouillon. And I really like this Nor bouillon the best. So I'm gonna add a little less than two teaspoons of bouillon because I'm not using quite a full cup. And so I am just going to let this come together and smooth out a little bit. And then once it does, I'm supposed to add a package of baby spinach. And so, oops, can't see it. From Trader Joe's, this is what I'm using. So I've already kind of sorted the spinach and rinsed it out really well. And it's just kind of sitting to the side. So um, I'll show you next steps as soon as it smooths out a little bit. Okay, so the spinach has been simmering for about five minutes, and now I'm just adding in my cooked tortellini. So next, the directions say to sprinkle this with about a cup of mozzarella cheese, and then place it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. My skillet is not oven safe, so what I'm gonna do is transfer this to a casserole dish, add the cheese and then pop it in the oven. Okay, here is the casserole. I took it out of the oven and then I let it cool for about 10 minutes. One thing I did do a little bit differently from the recipe was I added in a cup of mozzarella cheese um, inside of the casserole and a cup on the outside, just sprinkled it. And as you can see, it got nice and golden brown. It does have a good flavor. I would probably make it again. Here is our plate and I'm just serving it with a side salad. And then the salad dressed, dressing that I'm using is this from, from uh, Ken's Steakhouse. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having beans and rice. I just made some good old pinto beans. I do have a video coming out on how I made these pinto beans, so that will be out on Thursday. And I was gonna make some cornbread, I just didn't feel like it, so we're just having some good old beans and rice tonight. 
See you guys next time.